Hi and welcome to the next video in the RHCSA series. Today's video is on create, delete, copy and move files and directories. So let's launch the terminal okay. and let's go to let's see change directory to documents. Okay so first thing to do is to create a file. So that's relatively easy, so as we did before with vi or uh, nano, you can just do just use those commands like vi space and the new file name you're going to create or nano space the new file name you're going to create. Uh, otherwise there's a command called touch, and literally touch and then the name of the file you want to create, so uh, new file we'll call it. File. Yeah, there's a file called new file. So I just quickly just show you the VI example. So if we are example, that would create a new file called example. Oops, spell it correctly. And we've got the example. Same with nano. You can just do nano example. We've got a file called <laughs> example, it's just been edited. So I'd call it the same name, so I just overwrote it, wrote, wrote the exact same one. But. So, the next one is we're going to create a directory. So, to create a directory, it's pretty easy. It says mk make dir directory and then directory name. So, we just call it <laughs> make the uh, directory. Okay, there's no output from this command, but if you have a look, it's it's actually highlighted in blue in this case. There's the directory here. We can see it's got the special marking of that D for directory, and then you can see the dash for the files. So D for directory. So we can do CD directory, and there's a command PWD which allows you to print the working directory. Where it's quite useful when you going all around over the um, operating system you can just use the PWD to just find out exactly where you are so you can see I've just seeded into the directory from my originally, uh, original documents directory there. You can use the um, make the uh, command with the minus P which means you create all the parents as well so we can do one two three like that and that will create the directory without the front forward slash in front of that. So they'll create the directory one, then they create directory two, and they'll make create directory three all inside each other. So you'll have layers of directories, and you can use that um, to show that. So if we just do an ls again, we should have just a single directory called one. But if we do an ls minus l and then a capital R, which means recursive, we should see there's one, two, and three directories there. Right, to delete a file, so let's just go back up. So if you want to delete a file, it's just rm for remove. So we just do rm testing, and we don't get any output. You can see the file's gone. You can also um, specified a minus F um, and that's just to force the removal so in some cases you may get prompted are you sure you want to remove this file perhaps if you're removing quite a few files you may get that prompt um, with the RM command you can you can delete directories however you have to um, ensure you uh, use some extra flags to make sure it removes. So if we just try to remove remove directory like this, we're going to get the message. It's a, it cannot remove. It's a directory. So if we go one, two, we can delete that one. So we can delete directory three with this, and then minus D to, to remove a directory. And that's remove that directory. So we still have. 
our directory one, but it's just the directories underneath that directory. One of them has been deleted, that, that third directory. However, say if we want to delete directory one here, it will say directory is not empty because we've still got that directory two inside there. So we got what we got to do is the minus r. So we can do is minus r directory like this, and then we'll get a prompt. Then we'll do a. Then it will recursively delete. So we now have so it's delete all those directories inside that directory. All right to copy a file. So just do a clear because it's getting quite messy. Okay, so copy is the cp command. So if we just do an ls minus l, let's have a look what we've got for example. So if you want to do make file one, for example, into file five, we can just do cp and then specify the original file, file one. Then specify the new file name we're going to have. So file five has. And that will copy those. So we've got the two files now. I should have file one. Okay, and then we've got file five. Cool. So copy is quite easy. You can also copy directories. So again, we should, we should just go to make the uh, uh, directory. And we'll just do let's do that one, two, three example again. I've got number two minus p two to create all the parent file directories. Okay, just do a clean again, because this is getting messy, let's just do that again. Okay, so we've got our directory, and we've got the one, two, three directories inside that one. Okay, so what we can do now is cp, you can just do, if you do cp directory like that, and then to new directory, so new directory, you see it's not the, the minus R again the minus R means the recursive so what's happened is it's just it omitted the directory so actually nothing has copied see so if you do a CP minus R with the same command we now have a new directory if you go into New directory. You've got the one, and then etc. etc. You know, you know, one, two, three, four, etc. That's cool. You've got the option to move files and directories as well. All move is done with. Let's just go back up. Just make sure I just got one more. That should be up. I need to go. Up. I need to go up one more. So up one more. Oh, that should be in there. Okay. So it should be, yeah, that CD by the way, the two dots uh, means that one level up, one dot means your current directory. So if I CD dot, I'll be still in the same place. If I CD dot dot, I'll be up one level. So if I go to CD documents again, I'm back to where I was. That's just a quick one, just uh, for for I'd mention it while I was doing that. Okay, cool. So move, I was on, so just get a list of the files so if we do a move file 2 to file 6 now if we look we don't have a file 2 typically it makes sense pretty simple and to move directories it's pretty similar so mv directory and we move new directory to moved move directory and it's just moved it to move directory very simple so it's pretty simple this one really to be honest there's the so it's just those few commands there was the uh, the touch command to create the file in the first place the rm command to do the removing of files or deleting files and deleting directories 
you've got copying files using the cp command so it's touch rm cp um, we've got mv for move and of course as always they've, they've got man pages for all of these so man cp man mv and man rm Cool. Well, that concludes the video. Um, I hope it's been helpful. Please like and subscribe to my channel and uh, obviously like my video if you, if you don't mind. Hit the notification bell if you, if you want to be notified of any new videos. Yeah, uh, any support would be great. Um, I, I hope it's been informative and thanks for watching again. Thank you.